Well, take a look now. This former Pasco police officer was accused of killing a Spokane woman 35 years ago. The murder charge was later dropped because of a lack of evidence at the time. But now Richard Aguirre is back in court because prosecutors believe they now have the evidence to convict him of that murder. Krem 2's Amanda Rowley joining us now to share opening arguments from both attorneys this morning. Amanda? Well, Richard Aguirre faces first degree murder for the killing of 27 year old Ruby Doss in 1986. Now, in opening arguments today, the prosecutor explained the labs at the time did not get a DNA match from the condom found at the scene. But years later, another ran lab ran the DNA through the system and it matched with Aguirre. Ding, 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 a match. Spokane County prosecutors believe they now have the evidence they need to convict Richard Aguirre of killing 27 year old Ruby Doss in 1986, something they didn't have the first time he was tried for this murder. The prosecution explained to the jury in 2014, Aguirre's DNA came through a database. A month later, that DNA turned out to be a match and Aguirre became a suspect in Doss's death. They were able to confirm the defendant's DNA on the condom sample. Unsurprisingly, upon swabbing the bag that formerly contained the condom, they were also able to find the defendant's DNA. The victim was a sex worker. Aguirre's defense attorney told the jury he believes she was in a fight with her customer, but the DNA found on her was not Aguirre's. They have never found any of Mr. Aguirre's DNA on Ms. Doss, although they found DNA from numerous other individuals. He argues there is proof that Aguirre was not in the country when the victim was killed. You will see an exhibit that says Richard Aguirre was in Korea at the time of Ms. Doss' death, a certified copy of military records. This afternoon, the state presented various photos and videos police took at the crime scene in 1986. It showed night and daytime views of the area, along with multiple items found not far from the victim's body, including a steak knife, earring, and condom left in plain sight. Now, the state already called on three witnesses today, all of which were Spokane police officers or detectives who investigated the 1986 case. The prosecutor will resume witness testimony tomorrow morning. Amanda Rowley, Creme 2 News.